Shweta. Today I am going to discuss with you the assignment which I gave uh, from the chapter Parallel Lines. So you can see on the screen the first question. I hope you must have done this question correctly. So here in this question uh, you need to see the figure first. Here in this figure uh, you need to prove that uh, AB is parallel to line CD. And CD is parallel to EF and uh, AB is parallel to EF. Now you know that uh, there are three sufficient conditions for uh, proving two lines to be parallel. And one of which is uh, if alternate interior angles are equal, the lines are parallel. So you can see over here, let me mark. Uh, I'm considering this line AB and the line CD for the first part. And uh, you can see this uh, BC is uh, transversal. So let us take this BC as uh, transversal. Now observe closely that uh, here you can see angle ABC is given to be 50 degrees. And if you add angle BCE, which is this 20 degrees, and angle ECD, which is 30 degrees, you get 50 degrees. So from here, we see that alternate interior angles are equal and each angle is equal to 50 degrees. So we can say that AB is parallel to CD. So now I am uh, coming back to the second pair and the second pair is CD and EF. Okay, let us see the lines CD and uh, the line EF here. And you can see that uh, CE is acting as the transversal. Right. So here we observe closely the sum of co-interior angles. See, see, this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is uh, 150 degrees. So what is 150 plus 30? Yes, it is 180 degrees. And you know that when co-interior angles are supplementary, the two lines are parallel. So I hope you have written this in your notebook that angle DCE plus angle FEC equals 30 plus 150, which is 180. So co-interior angles are supplementary. So we, we say that CD is parallel to EF. So let us now look into the third one that is uh, AB is uh, parallel to EF. Now you know that uh, AB is uh, parallel to CD which we have proved and CD is parallel to EF that also we have proved. So this indicates that uh, AB is parallel to EF. Can you tell me what is the reason for that? Yes, if uh, two lines, they are parallel to the same line. So we say that both of them are parallel with each other as well. So AB is parallel to CD, EF is parallel to CD. So that's why we say that AB is parallel to EF. I hope uh, this discussion uh, will help you in uh, understanding this particular question. So let us now move on to the second question which is really, really, really very interesting. So here you can see that in this figure, the lines L and M are parallel. So this is line L and this is line M and uh, both are given parallel to each other and we have to find the value of A and B. So you can see here, this is marked A and it is in the expression 3A plus 18 and B is marked over here. This we have to find, right? So let us begin the discussion. So we are given that uh, line L is uh, parallel to line M. So this is line L and this is line M. And uh, we consider the transversal, this one. So let us name, you can name this transversal as, uh, uh, say for example, let, let it be P. So now observe closely 
that uh, this angle is 50 degrees and if i mark here another angle which is uh, le let this angle be equal to x so here both are corresponding angles so we say that x will also be equal to 50 degrees now easily you can find the value of b what is x plus b they are making a linear pair so b will be 180 minus 50 that is equal to 130 degrees i hope it is clear to you right so this will be the first thing by the help of this you can easily find out the value of b right so let us now see how we can uh, now find out uh, this uh, the value of a if you have to find the value of a you can closely see that uh, this 3a plus 18 will be equal to this marked angle. Uh, let us mark this as uh, y. And uh, we see that y plus this angle, that is 20 plus uh, 12. 20 plus 12 is 32. So 32 plus y will be equal to 180 degrees. And what is this y? y will be equal to 3a plus 12. 3a plus 12 is equal to y because they are making uh, corresponding angles so by the help of this you can simplify the expression which you get and you can find the value of y i hope uh, this question is also clear to you so let us move on to the next one and uh, the third question is in the given figure angle p equals 65 degrees and uh, rt is parallel to pq okay so this uh, this is given that uh, pq and uh, rt are parallel to each other and uh, also it is given that uh, this angle p is uh, 65 degrees perfectly fine and uh, angle trs okay this angle we are talking about this is 50 degrees and we have to find angle prt okay this is to be determined so let us mark this as x and the remaining two angles of the triangle so let us mark those two angles also that means we have to find this y and we have to find this z so you can see over here that X is clearly making an alternate angle with this angle P. Because uh, if you take this line PQ and line RT and you take this PR as the transversal, so 65 is equal to X. So uh, we can simply find the value of X. They are making a pair of alternate interior angles, right? So now you can see that X plus Y plus 50 so that is equal to 180 degrees they are uh, angles in the straight line so 50 plus 65 plus y equals 180 degrees so you can find the value of y i hope it is clear now after getting y you see that y plus 65 plus z will be equal to 180 degrees because these are three angles interior angles in the triangle PQR and you can find the value of Z. I hope the process is clear to you how we have done this. First, we have found the value of X by using the property of parallel lines and transversal that alternate interior angles are equal. Then to find Y, we have used the properties of angles in a straight line 50 plus X plus Y equals 180 degrees. And for finding the value of Z, we have used the property that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So Z plus Y plus 65 equals 180 degrees and we can find the value of Z. Now, can you tell me another way of finding the value of Z? Yes, you can use the exterior angle property of the triangle also. So you, we can closely see that x plus 50 degree x plus 50 degrees should be equal to 65 plus z and we have found that this x is 65 degrees and by using the exterior angle property of the triangle we can get the value of 
z i hope uh, these three questions are clear to you and uh, you must have solved this in your notebook thank you so much for listening and do the practice in your notebook